Hi Marty, this is uh, Mike Pima, Chevrolet Pialup. We just talked on the phone. Hey, uh, this is our truck uh, we talked about, and uh, I'm going to walk around the uh, the whole thing. Before I start, and I'll verify this, but with the Easy Wheel uh, invoice you saw on um, on Carfax, new tires. Uh, these are brand new. These are brand new tires. Um, and I'm quite certain that that's what it is, but I'll verify it, Marty. Okay. Nice looking truck. This is the Summit White color, as you probably know. And a um, little, little tiny ding there. A little rough chip, rather. And um, a few little rubs right there. But... Beyond that, the hood, the hood and the front bumper look look good to me. It's got the uh, fender flares, as you can see. Those are came from the factory. I don't see any dings on the, the driver's side. These are the camper mirrors that we talked about. They manually slide in and out six inches, I think. And this is this portion is power. The convex is manual. They're heated and they have directions directional lights in them. Okay, factory installed tubulars. Uh, this is the SLT model. We talked about that. These are 16-inch uh, aluminums. Anyway, uh, this side of the body looks fine. Okay, we talked about this, and um, you know, with the Jake brake in there. Um, they definitely set it up two-toe. I don't see a lot of scarring in the hitch receiver, but um, they did tow with it. We have to believe that. It's got a cover on it, as you see, and it was set up for a fifth wheel. See the plugs here, Marty? So if you folks buy this truck, you're, you won't have to. You'll just have. You won't have to prep the bed for it. It's already set up for that. This is uh, this is something that the, the owner put on. It's like aluminum or stainless steel. And it's got a spray and bed liner too, Marty. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Sorry. Oh, one more thing. It's got uh, this comes from the factory. That's a that's a, a um, harness for like um, a jake brake or if you put a canopy on it. Uh, tailgate back bumper looks okay. Uh, oh, he's got a new exhaust tip on it. Um. The body on the passenger side looks okay. I don't see. Somebody took pretty good care of this truck, Marty. It's pretty, it's really clean. Let's check the inside. Okay, SOT model. So it's got uh, dark gray leather interior, seats five, as you know. Uh, there, show, there shows a little wear on the driver's seat, which you would expect in leather. Um, but uh, the the back seat, which seats three, look, look like brand new to me. As you probably know, you pull up the seat and you fold down the back. Um, just a sec. Anyway, you fold up, uh, fold up the seat, push down the back, and you, it has um, quite a bit of storage space. And then just, uh, just, <laughs> just reverse that. Here we go. Okay. This is the uh, the um, trailer brake that the person put in. We talked about that. Um, the seats uh, as an SLT model. There's memory seats for driver one, driver two, and that's an exit seat. It's got heated seats and seat back for both the driver and the passenger. Um, it's uh, got personalization buttons on the steering wheel for the car and the radio. Um, Automatic climate control, six the CD player, we talked about that. Power sunroof, we know about that. 
And it's got the automatic uh, transfer case, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. Real quick, uh, Marty, if you're in a two-wheel drive <clears throat> and you want to go to four-wheel drive, you just push the button. It'll blink for a few seconds. It'll engage that gear. You can do that at any speed. On four-wheel low, you should probably know you have to come to a stop or almost a stop and then put it in gear. And um, anyway, uh, let's check the engine box. Okay, before we um, before we um, put the car on the lot, we clean uh, both the exterior and the engine compartment. And as you can see, it's wow, very they they do a real nice job in our de in our detail department. This is a um, this is an aftermarket um, diesel management system, I guess you'd call it. I don't know anything about these things, sorry, but um, I'll look it up, or maybe you can. It's called Banks. It's a Banks. Okay, it's a Banks electronic system. I think this improves fuel mileage, or or has something to do with that. But that's on there. That did not come from the factory. Um, the fuel filter is. Uh, there's a, the car will tell you uh, how many, when to change the fuel filter, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's done just by the way that the person took care of it. Okay, well this Banks is, uh, it's also an, uh, an air induction system too. So they must work in concert with one another. So this is an aftermarket um, air cleaner system as well. Anyhow, I wish I knew more about it, sorry. Let's crank this guy up and um, as you probably know on a diesel engine it's got what they call a glow plug and you just have to wait for a few seconds for it to extinguish and then you can go. Anyway, um, this is a nice truck. I'll get that information and send it to you uh, like we also talked about, Marty. And uh, any questions, give me a call, 253-286-1230, and uh, hope to see you this weekend. Thanks, Marty.